I think there's huge opportunities and, and from my previous life working with economic development groups from around the globe, um, companies in different markets or different countries don't typically pick up and relocate, they expand. So if an Estonian company were to be expanding here to the Toronto region, um, we would be helping them grow here in the region and helping them in Esto grow in Estonia and vice versa. A Toronto-based company that is looking at expanding into Europe and going into Estonia, it's not a net job loss. It, it's going to be a gain here because they're still going to be working with the HQ that's based here. So I think, again, cross-border collaboration is a huge opportunity. It is definitely on the radar uh, for a couple of reasons. I think Estonia, thankfully, we, uh, we already uh, a few years, we look way further beyond our own immediate neighborhood. And it's very, very important because the glo globe is open and uh, Estonia is a country, not a market. So the market is the globe for us. So further we, we look the better because also then it means it's about the idea, about the design, about the originality of the uh, product or service you provide. Because if it's, uh, let's say, all about price, you don't compete, especially if you go the further away. So uh, Toronto and Canada, just to enter the uh, North American market, I think it's a good base. Although it's, uh, of course, a bit maybe uphill struggle because the awareness needs to be increased. Uh, because every, if you ask the Sony companies, if you go, want to go to the US or Canada, where do you start from? Silicon Valley, New York, Boston. Toronto may be not there yet, but that's why events like Latitude 44 are so uh, important. First of all, there's a uh, strong connection in between Estonian and Canadian people. Uh, that's Estonian diaspora. Uh, ever since the uh, breakout of Second World War, we have uh, nearly 20,000 of uh, diaspora uh, ethnically Estonians uh, living here and that's one of the interest areas is uh, how we can uh, sort of work with this community and help to bring us knowledge about Estonian innovation and openness to Canadian uh, entrepreneurs and innovation collaboration how we can bring it over here with the help of these people and uh, today we have uh, some of the community members here today as well that we're trying to introduce that have long forgotten Estonia and they don't even really know how much innovation is coming from there and how much we can work overseas uh, and, and, and why we're doing this is because we don't have a physical office here so that we have to work back and forth our closest office right now is New York so, so that's why we've chosen this format uh, so don't have the office yet but we can travel a lot and we have these mash meeting points or mash up events just like this Estonian Music Week now combined with uh, tech two days of conference today being a entrepreneurship innovation tomorrow being more of the digitization of the society I think uh, when we talk about uh, bridging different startup ecosystems, then we need to look into the aspects of uniqueness. Like how can we benefit from that collaboration and from the, from the both ends, not that only one side of it gets, gets the benefits or sees the results. And here with Toronto, I do see that uh, Estonian startups, of course, uh, do see their markets uh, here on this side of the globe, on the Atlantic Ocean, that uh, we do want to come to US as our market. But as today as well brought out very well is that Toronto could be the base for that. Uh, it's more affordable, first of all, but second of all, the mindset is closer to us maybe than in the US. Mm, and, uh, and from the other side, uh, for the Canadians, of course, entering the European markets and uh, doing it with, with really uh, ease, uh, because uh, we do have a very good uh, startup friendly business environment. But on top of it, it also uh, gives you the hassle free environment in the sense that it's uh, almost all of the services, what to do with your business are online so that you could be flying on to your markets, meeting your customers at the same time, you know, uh, operating and managing your business very nicely. And that's w with the help of e-residency, but why not with the uh, Estonian startup ecosystem together?